Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today I want to start discussing a series of videos on the asymmetrical pull-up. So this is the, the pull-up that isn't meant to be asymmetrical. It's accidentally getting that way. You're trying to do a normal pull-up, but you, you know, it just doesn't look quite right. It feels totally normal to you, but if somebody else sees it or somebody else shows you a video of it or you see yourself in the mirror, you're like, what the hell is going on? So the pull-up, uh, just to be blunt, is really complicated, really complex. It's very intensive because body weight is generally a, a you know, some people never do a pull-up in their life, you know, or not since, you know, they become an adult. And that's just because this movement is challenging. It's not necessarily that hard to just pull your arms up, but it's hard to move your entire body weight while pulling your arms up. Uh, so we're going to go into what this issue is. I'm going to talk about a little bit of the anatomy that I think is going on. Um, so you can kind of, you know, you traders out there can get a, a better visual of what's actually happening. And, and people here who maybe aren't trainers, who just are curious about what's going on, it gives you a better, you know, I try to teach this kind of stuff, this level, this detail to all of my clients if they seem kind of receptive to it because a lot of people learn really well when they hear these extra details. It helps you tie it into, oh yeah, that's that makes a lot of sense. That's why I'm doing this. And then when I give them, you know, um, <clears throat> I don't want to say rehab exercises, exercises to fix the problem that is causing the issue, then those exercises are generally more beneficial because they're doing them better, they take them more seriously, and you understand what they're there for. But this is just a little intro. Next, we're gonna talk about what is actually going on. What does this asymmetrical pull-up look like? 